Hey guys, it's Music Tech Help Guy, and in this video, I want to talk about something I think is really cool, and that is creating mid-side instruments. And right up front, I'll just mention that there's quite a bit that needs to be said to introduce this topic, so just bear with me through the explanation. Now, we use mid-side processing in mixing all the time to separate the mid-channel, or the center material, from the side channels, the material on the far left and right. In particular, I find this really helpful when EQing stereo instruments and stereo material, or for EQing when mastering. In Logic, you can load up any, just about any plugin in dual mono mode, and what this will allow you to do is switch the format of the plugin from stereo over to mid-side. And what this allows you to do is it allows you to independently process the mid-channel from the side channel. So typically, like in mixing and mastering, what I would do is I would, I would push more of like the mid-range and the bottom end in the mid-channel, and I would push more of the high end in the side channel to sort of create uh, a bit of like a, like a, a faux stereo effect where you have more of the bright elements on the sides and more of the dense elements in the center. So I got to thinking, why can't we build software instruments, custom software instruments that are mid-side? You know, maybe I want one instrument exclusively in the center, but then another instrument exclusively on the sides. Well, unfortunately, instruments don't load up in dual mono mode. Most of them load up in stereo, some also support mono, and then some also have a multi-output option, but that's that's for mixing, that's something else completely. So there's no dual mono option here. But I think I figured out a cool way to do this by using a summing stack and the direction mixer plugin in Logic. Now this isn't gonna create some cool new wild sound, but it might create a new way of thinking about the spatial aspects of an instrument. So if you're like me, I find this really interesting and really cool, but others may not see the value in this, and that's cool too. So enough talk, let me show you how to do this. So I've got two instruments here. One's a retro synth patch. Just a pretty basic synth pad patch. I've got a little bit of distortion on there, but this is mostly mid-rangey uh, in tone. And then down here, I've got a string patch. I'm just using the amber instrument from uh, orchestral tools, but you can use whatever instruments you want, third party, stock logic plugins, whatever floats your boat. But on this track, I have this sort of swelling uh, string instrument. Now, I wouldn't call this like really bright, but it certainly has more bright overtones than the retro synth instrument. Normally, you could just arm both of these at the same time and layer them up together or maybe put them in a track stack and layer them together. And that would sound something like this. And that's nice and beautiful and has all these cool textures all layered together. But the problem I see here is that there's no definition between the retro synth and the strings. And that might be what you're going for. You want them to sort of be blended together as one instrument. But what if I want the strings on the outside and I want the, the retro synth in the center? So to do this, to create a mid-side instrument out of any two software instruments, the first thing you're going to do is put both of these in a track stack. So I'm going to select both of these, go up to track, go down to create track stack, and then I'll select summing stack. Now I can just arm this one summing stack to play both of these. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pan the retro synth all the way to the left, and I'm going to pan the strings all the way to the right. Now the reason why I'm doing that is because we're going to convert left, right stereo. If you think about left, right as two different channels, and we're going to convert left, right stereo into mid side stereo. So the left channel becomes the mid channel and the right channel becomes the sides. If you want it the opposite, you could you know, put this on the right, put this on the left, and then the strings will be in the mid channel and the retro synth will be in the side channels. 
So you can experiment with this any way you like. Next on my summing stack, I'm going to grab my direction mixer plugin. This is under imaging direction mixer. And with the direction mixer, it has the ability to convert left to right stereo into mid side. So now the left channel is mid and the, uh, the right channel is sides. Let's see what this sounds like. And just for comparison, let me play these back to back. So yeah, it's not like one's better than the other. They're just two different spaces, two different textures. The other great thing about this is there's a spread control. So if you want this to be more narrow, you'll get more and more of the retro synth in the center. And if you pull this out, uh, if you want it more, you know, more wide sounding, you'll get more of the strings on the far left and far right. And in addition to that, you can click this split button and you can actually separate the high frequencies from the low frequencies. In a lot of cases, you might want the lows to be more narrow and the highs to be more spread out. So again, it's not like some drastic, you know, uh, sound design change here that I'm creating. It's just a different way of thinking about the space of the instrument. And one thing you may want to do if you do use this technique is you may want to throw the correlation meter either on the summing stack or on the master uh, output like I have here and just double check the phase to make sure that you, ha you don't have any weird phase issues happening. Uh, this can happen when you start spreading things a lot. You basically just want to make sure that this little uh, marker here stays to zero and to the right of zero in the positive. You don't want this to be, you don't want the correlation to be negative. Uh, that means that you have things on the left and right channels uh, canceling each other out. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, it's just a different way of thinking about space and working with instruments and logic. Try creating some different uh, mid-side instruments and see uh, how they work out for you and uh, see if you like the, the space in them better than just simply layering things up in stereo. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. Thanks for the support and thanks for watching.